a reading from the first book of samuel chapter 16 verses 1 to 13 jesse's youngest son david is anointed king the lord said to samuel how long will you go on mourning over saul when i have rejected him as king of israel fill your horn with oil and go i am sending you to jesse of bethlehem for i have chosen myself a king among his sons samuel replied how can i go when saul hears of it he will kill me then the lord said take a heifer with you and say i have come to sacrifice to the lord invite jesse to the sacrifice and then i myself will tell you what you must do you must anoint to me to the one i point out to you samuel did what the lord ordered and went to bethlehem the elders of the town came trembling to meet him and asked she have you come with good intentions towards us yes he replied i have come to sacrifice to the lord purify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice he purified jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice when they arrived he caught sight of eliab and thought surely the lord's anointed one stands there before him but the lord said to samuel take no notice of his appearance or his height for i have rejected him god does not see as man sees man looks at appearances but the lord looks at the heart jesse then called abinadab and presented him to samuel who said the lord has not chosen this one either jesse then presented sama but samuel said the lord has not chosen this one either jesse presented his seven sons to samuel but samuel said to jesse the lord has not chosen these he then asked jesse are these all your all the sons you have he answered there is still one left the youngest he is out looking after the sheep then samuel said to jesse send for him we will not sit down to eat until he comes jesse had him sent for a boy of fresh complexion with fine eyes and pleasant bearing the lord said come anoint him for this is the one at this samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him where he stood with his brothers and the spirit of the lord seized on david and stayed with him from that day on as for samuel he rose and went to rama the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm i have found david my servant i have found david my servant of old you spoke in a vision to your friends the prophets you said i have set the crown on a warrior i have exalted one chosen from the people response i have found david my servant i have found david my servant and with my holy oil anointed him my hand shall always be with him and my arm 
shall make him strong. Response I have found David my servant. He will say to me, You are my father, my God, the rock who saves me, and I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Response I have found David my servant. Gospel acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 2 Verses 23 to 28. One Sabbath day, Jesus happened to be talking a walk through the cornfields. And his disciples began to pick ears of corn, and they went along. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing something on the Sabbath day that is forbidden? And he replied, did you never read what David did in his time of need when he and his followers were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the loaves of offering which only the priests are allowed to eat, and how he also gave some to the men with him? And he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man not man for the Sabbath. The Son of Man is master even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the readings of today invites us to see from the perspective of the Lord. And how can we see from the perspective of the Lord? It is only in and through our communion and our relationship which is built upon the foundation of prayer. If my prayer life is good and solid, then I will be able to understand God's per perspective and His going about doing things in our lives. In the first reading, Saul is not accepted or he is not a pleasing king before the Lord. And the Lord tells Samuel that he is going to give the people of Israel a new king. And he is told to go for anointing the new king. And as he goes and he sees the elder son of Jesse, he wants to anoint him thinking that he is the king. And the Lord tells him that he doesn't look at the outer appearances. He looks at the heart and it tells him clearly it is not he. And finally at the end, David, who was taking care of the sheep of his father in the field, is called upon. And when Samuel sees him, the Lord tells him, This is the one whom I have chosen to be the king of Israel. Anoint him. My dear brothers and sisters, Lord's ways are perfect and they are for our good. Provided we understand and trust the Lord. But many a times, when things don't go the way we want, we often get upset. We often look up and complain. But today's first reading invites us that we need to trust the Lord. No matter what is the situation we are going through, we are called to have a strong trust on our Lord because He is in con complete control of the situation and he will never let us down when we have 
total and firm faith in him this is the prime message of the first reading the gospel passage pharisees are seeing the disciples of jesus eating and they are upset and they say they are doing something which they are not supposed to do on the sabbath day and jesus puts before them a reference and tells them david when he was hungry didn't he go and eat what he was not supposed to and they have no answer for that and he tells the pharisees that the sabbath was made for men and not men for the sabbath the pharisees failed to see the hunger of the disciples and that is what they failed to understand and began to find faults and this is also many at times happens we see something from our perspective and we judge the situations it is always good to see and to understand and see the other side as well which the pharisees were not willing to so my dear brothers and sisters the the prime message of the gospel is not only to see what others are doing and make a judgment but see understand and put yourself into that situation and then you decide not judge so my dear brothers and sisters today we also celebrate the memorial of saint joseph was the first saint of sri lanka the first saint from goa who went apart from his life on his deathbed a people gathered around him and the beautiful advice that he gave to them was live your lives according to god's inspiration what a beautiful thought that we have by saint joseph was for each one of us today he invites us and he wants us that we live our life according to the inspiration of god so as we celebrate the memorial of saint joseph was and the readings of today are inviting us to trust the lord to believe the lord that all that happens into our lives is for our good so my dear brothers and sisters as we participate in this holy eucharist let us surrender ourselves let us ask the lord to strengthen our faith so that we trust the lord no matter what situations we are in whether we are joyful we are sad let us always have firm faith on our lord and always live our lives according to god's inspiration may god give us the grace amen <laughs>